Hi guys, Vertus Education here with the 27th video of the Unreal Development Kit Beginner Series. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over something short and hopefully very sweet in the form of image-based reflections. So, some of you may not be familiar with uh, some of the DirectX 11 features inside of UDK. And it's mostly due to it being one of the more advanced features and those that aren't necessarily broad. And for that reason, I didn't really want to put it into the series, but I kind of got, you know... Uh, I kind of I just got overpowered and wanted to put it in there because image-based reflections are incredibly, incredibly sexy, and uh, yeah, I couldn't help but do it. So, image-based reflections, what are they? They are reflections based on an image captured uh, inside a UDK, as opposed to just a standard. Uh, you know shiny reflection that you have here whereas an image based reflection has a sort of picture in it so for example if you take a look at this image here that's reflected onto the floor it isn't necessarily just a standard specular it moves as you go around it and you can see it is based on uh, the static meshes that are here and if I move this um, this reflection that I have here it is actually going to move alongside with it so it's very very different to um, very different to specular uh, specular reflections so you've got to keep that into in mind and uh yeah so you can see it there and if i was to for example move this image based reflection uh say over here and then update it it would then update to whatever image it can capture uh over there so i'm going to quickly do that so you can see how it looks and you should be quite uh pleased with the result so there we go i press g and boom you can see we got some nice reflections coming in uh, over from there, but they're not too strong because there isn't that much of a strong light. Whereas, it, whereas I had it before, like this, it was incredibly strong with loads of light and so on. We can play around the settings so it's brighter, it has a deeper uh, color range and so on and so forth. But for now, we're not going to be it. we're not going to be playing with it. So keep in mind for this tutorial, I am going to be working with a level from the game network, which I'm actually developing with my team, Virtus Studios. So uh, yeah, the reason for doing this is because there's lots and lots of emissives in this level. It's sci-fi and uh, image-based reflections really fit into it. Now this level is sexy as fuck. If you disagree, uh, not my fault. Go away. So. You know, let's uh, go into uh, actually creating some image-based reflections. So there's a few things that you need to do before you can actually go ahead and create them. The first of which is to make sure that your editor is actually in a DirectX 11 enabled mode. So to check that it is in DirectX 11, just go ahead and look in the top left hand corner and it should say DX9 or DX11. If it says DX9, just go ahead and go to switch rent, uh, file switch renderer and then press the, uh, DirectX 11 and then the editor will restart. Some of you may not have this option available to you due to you not having a DirectX 11 enabled graphics card. If you want to check that your graphics card does uh, is enabled for DirectX 11 content, check the box, check the manufacturer's website but considering I've got an AMD 7000 series card I am perfectly fine. So let's get into uh, actually creating it. Also you do need to make sure that your material Material actually supports DirectX 11 uh, image based reflections. To do that, just go ahead and click your static mesh or whatever has that material on it that's going to, uh, that's going to have the, the reflection uh, projected onto it and go to materials and then find material in content browser. And then just make sure that it's enabled for DirectX 11 stuff. So I'm going to quickly do this. I'm going to go to materials, find base material. And boom, we should be able to find it. Uh, so with that, you know, I'm just going to get an example material here. I'm going to open it up. And uh, I'm going to go down to D3D11. And then I'm going to make sure that image-based reflections is checked. And once that's checked, it will actually allow for image-based reflections to work. Just like it is on these flooring pieces and so on that I have here, which look pretty sexy. However, as you can see here, this, this uh, second material here, which I have for the tiles doesn't support image based reflection so it's not actually going on to it if I wanted to do that I would of course have to go and do that uh, I'd have to go and change that myself so I'm just gonna quickly do that uh, if it's an instance I'm just gonna a material instance I'm just going to uh, give up but gladly it is a um, it is a standard material so I'm just gonna go down all the way to D3 D11 and make sure image based reflections is uh, 
selected. There's a whole bunch of other DirectX 11 stuff you can play around with here, but you know, you don't necessarily need to do it for this tutorial, so I'm going to leave it unchecked so I don't necessarily screw around with anything. So, I'm going to quickly delete this um this image based reflection actor that I have here and we're going to go ahead and create our very own so to do that just go over to the content browser and go to the actor classes tab down to uncategorized and then go to image reflection and image reflection scene actor and essentially just drag that into the scene like that and uh, you will have it so Personally, when I'm creating an image-based reflection actor, I prefer to have emissives in the scene when it's can pick, that it can pick up because emissives come out really, really bright, look incredibly sexy, but it will also pick up diffuse if you turn up the color range a lot. But uh, mainly, this is used for picking up emissive reflections uh, and making it look as realistic and sexy as possible. So I'm just going to quickly rotate this so that uh, the white is facing towards where the reflection will be face uh, will be. Uh, projected and behind it will be what's being captured also with this actor you can see you have a little box anything past the halfway mark will be captured and anything past the uh, halfway mark in the front will actually be where the uh, material can be projected to so I'm gonna quickly move this around and place it in front of my little displays here uh, the little medical bay displays that I have here just like that and I'm also going to uh, size it a little bit uh, resize it so it captures the whole thing and there we go just make sure that box is around it and you should be pretty much good to go so I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger and there we go so now all we got to do is essentially right click it and go to update image based scene reflection actor thing and it should update and we'll get the sexy reflection. Uh, you may have to play around with this a little bit to uh, accommodate for your scene. This scene has plenty of emissive so it's going to come out really bright. However, if it's just diffuse or something like that you're, refle uh, you're trying to capture, uh, you know, you're going to have to play around with the settings. Just right click on that. Uh, if you can't select it because it's got an opacity, just go ahead and go into the brush wireframe view. Click it there and then just go into the properties. So from here we can play around with a few things we can play around with the color range for one so if I change this to 50 for example it's gonna pick up more colors in it and you'll even see it begins to pick up some of the diffuse and so on so you might want to have to play around with this and then you've also got uh, depth range which is essentially a uh, distance between here and here uh, how far it can actually be projected and how much is actually captured so you can set this to something like 500 a thousand whatever based on how big of the reflection do you want it to be so that's pretty much everything i hope you have a sexy image based reflection now thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video